in this lecture we are going to discuss poisson process and its application so let me start with the poisson process uh, definition then i give some properties uh, in the poisson process and i also present some examples poisson process is a very important uh, stochastic process whenever something uh, happens in a, some random way occurrence of some event and if it satisfies a few properties then we can model using a poisson process and the poisson process has uh, some important properties whereas the other stochastic processes uh, won't be satisfied uh, with those properties therefore uh, the poisson process is a very uh, important stochastic process uh, for the many modelings in uh, uh, applications like uh, telecommunication or wireless networks or uh, any computer systems or anything uh, uh, any dynamical system in which the arrival comes in some uh, pattern and uh, satisfies a few properties so before moving into the actual uh, definition of poisson process i'm going to give one simple example and through this example i am going to re relate the poisson process uh, definition then later i am going to solve the same example also this example number 2 example 1 i have something else consider a car insurance claims reported to insurer it need not be car insurance you can think of any motor car motor uh, insurance or uh, any particular type of vehicle or whatever it is assume that the average rate of occurrence of climbs 10 per day its average rate per day therefore its rate per day the average rate is 10 also assume that uh, this rate is a constant throughout the year and at a different times of a day so even though this quantity is a average quantity there is a possibility some day there is no climb reported at all or there are some day more than some 30 40 climbs reported and all the possibilities are there but we make the assumption the average rate is a constant throughout the year at the different times of a day also further assume that in a sufficiently sh short time interval there can be at most one claim suppose you think of a very small interval of like 1 minute or 5 minutes or whatever a very small quantity comparing to the because here i have given the average rate is at 10 per day therefore whatever the time you think of a very negligible in that the probability of a, or it is sufficiently small interval of time there is a possibility of only maximum one claim can be reported the question is what is the probability that there are less than two claims reported on a given day what is the probability that uh, less than two claims reported means uh, what's the probability that in a given day either uh, no claim or one claim also we are asking the second question what is the probability that the time until the next reported claim is less than two hours suppose some time one claim is reported what is the probability that the next time is going to be reported before 2 hours we started with this problem the car insurance claims reported therefore the claims is nothing but some event and these events are occurring over the time suppose you make the assumption of a sufficiently smaller interval of time at most one climb can happen and the average rate of occurrence of climb is a constant throughout the time so with this assumption one we one we can think of a sort of arrival process a pure birth process satisfying some condition and that may lead into poisson process so this same example we are going to consider it again also now i am going for definition of a poisson process how one can derive the poisson process 
Poisson process is a stochastic process with some conditions. So, how one can derive the Poisson process? For that, let me start with the random variable n of t that denotes the number of customers arriving during the interval 0 to time t. That means, how many arrivals uh, takes place in the interval 0 to t. That means, uh, for fixed t, n of t is a random variable. Over the time, this n of t collection that is a stochastic process. I am making a some four assumptions with these assumptions I am going to conclude uh, the n of t is going to be a stochastic process. The first assumption not x of 0 n of 0 is equal to 0 at time 0 the number of customers uh, is 0 n of 0 is equal to 0 it is a wrong n of 0. Second one the probability of arrival in an interval x to x plus delta t that is a lambda times delta t where lambda is strictly greater than 0. That means a probability that a, a only one arrival is going to take place in an interval of delta t that probability is a lambda times delta t for a very very small interval delta t. It is independent of x that means a, it is a increments are stationary that property I am going to introduce in this assumption the probability of more than one arrival in the interval x to x plus delta t is negligible. That means, at most a maximum one arrival can occur in a very small interval of time that is the assumption that I am specifying in third one. The fourth assumption arrivals in non overlapping intervals are independent. That means, if the arrival occurs in a some interval and another some non overlapping interval, then those arrivals are going to be from independent. That means, there is no dependency over the non overlapping intervals arrivals going to occur or not. So, with these four assumptions n of 0 is equal to 0 and the probability of one arrival is lambda times delta t in a small interval more than one arrival occurrence in a interval delta t where delta t is very small that is that probability is negligible and the non overlapping intervals arrival are independent. So, with this derivation I am going to find out the distribution of n of t. To find the distribution of n of t first uh, I am doing I am partitioning the interval 0 to t into n equal parts with the length t divided by n. The way I use the the way I partition the interval 0 to t into n pieces such that uh, t by n is going to be a very small interval. So, that means, I have to partition that interval 0 to t in such a way that uh, the t by n is going to be as small as Therefore, I can use those assumption of a probability of occurring one arrival in that interval uh, of length t by n that probability is a lambda times uh, t by n and the probability of not occurring a event in that interval uh, t by n is 1 minus lambda times t by n. So, I can use those concepts for that uh, I have to partition the interval 0 to t into n parts with a sufficient larger n therefore, t by n is going to be smaller. Now, since I partition this interval into n pieces n parts I can think of at each parts I can think of a binomial or Bernoulli distribution at each pieces therefore, all the non overlapping intervals occurrence are independent therefore, I can think of it is accumulation of a n independent Bernoulli trials. Since it is a n independent Bernoulli trials for each intervals t by n of length t by n therefore, the total number of event occur in the interval 0 to t by partitioning into n equal parts this is a sort of what is the probability that k event occurs in the interval uh, 0 to 
in the time duration 0 to t as a n partition. So, out of n equal parts, what is the probability that k events occur in the interval 0 to t? That is nothing but since it is a, each interval is going to form a Bernoulli distribution with the probability p is lambda times t by n. Therefore, the total number is going to be binomial distribution with the parameters n and p where p is lambda times t by n. Therefore, this is the probability mass function of a k event occurs out of n equal parts. Therefore, n c k lambda times t by n power k 1 minus lambda times t by n power n minus k. Now, the running index for k goes from 0 to n. That means, uh, there is a possibility no event uh, takes place in the interval 0 to t or maximum of a n interval, n event takes place all in all n intervals. So, this is for a sufficiently large n such that the t by n is smaller. We take n tends to infinity to understand the limiting behavior of this scenario as the partition becomes final. Now, I can go for n tends to infinity. What will happen? As n tends to infinity, if you do the simplification here as n tends to infinity, that simplification I am not doing in this presentation. As the limit n tends to infinity, the whole thing will land up e power minus lambda t, lambda t power k by k factorial. Now, the k running index is 0, 1, 2 and so on. This you can use the concept the binomial distribution as n tends to infinity and p tends to 0, your n into p becomes a lambda. So, that that will give the Poisson distribution. The limiting case of a binomial distribution is a Poisson distribution. So, using that logic, this binomial distribution mass as n tends to infinity, this becomes a Poisson distribution mass function. So, this is nothing but the right hand side is the probability mass function for a Poisson distribution with the parameter lambda times t. And this is a random variable n of t for fixed t. Therefore, for fixed t, n of t is a Poisson distributed random variable with the parameter lambda times t, where lambda is greater than 0. Therefore, we can conclude the stochastic process related to the n of t for fixed t n of t is a Poisson distribution. Therefore, the stochastic process n of t over the t greater than or equal to 0 that is nothing but a Poisson process. So, from the Poisson distribution we are getting Poisson process because each random variable is a Poisson distributed with a parameter lambda times t. Therefore, that collection of random variable is a Poisson process with the parameter lambda t. Since it is a Poisson distributed random variable for fixed t, you can get the mean and variance and all other moments also by using the probability mass function of n of 